Stand in Tadasana, bring the palms of the hands together. Close the eyes, bring the attention to the breathing. Long, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Open the eyes, release the hands back into Tadasana. Let's inhale to bring the arms up, gazing up towards the thumbs. As you exhale, dive down. You can bend the knees here if you need to place the hands down. Inhale to lengthen out of the spine, looking up. And exhale, fold back down, bend the knees. Let's step the right leg back, stay on the ball of the right foot, lifting the arms up into a high lunge, Anjanasana variation. Once you have your balance, you can lift the eyes in between the hands. Keep pressing out through that right heel, lifting up through the fingertips. Find the breath. Exhaling, bring the hands down. Let's step back into down face dog. Feet hip width apart. Hands shoulder width apart. And let's ripple through the spine, inhaling. And as you exhale, let's lower down into Chaturanga. Feel free to come down onto the knees in this position as well. Keep the elbows nice and close to the body and then inhale into Urva Mukha Svanasana, up face dog, lifting the eyes and lifting through the lower belly, exhaling back into down face dog and let's hold it here for a few breaths. Set the gaze in between the feet or up towards the navel. Lifting the sit bones up towards the ceiling. And on the next inhale, lifting that right leg up, three-legged dog. And then as you exhale, step that foot forward in between the hands, lifting the arms up into the high lunge, pressing out through that left heel, lifting the eyes in between the hands. Keep lifting through the lower belly here. Protect the lower back. And as you exhale, bring the hands down. Let's bring that left foot forward. Inhale to lengthen out of the spine. And exhaling, fold down. On the next in breath, sweep the arms back up. Palms together. And then exhaling back to Tadasana. Let's go again a little bit faster. Inhaling. And exhaling forward into Uttanasana. Inhale to lengthen out of the Uttanasana and then exhaling, bend the knees, step that left leg back on the ball of the left foot, lifting the arms up, starting to reach back with the fingertips if you want to go a little bit stronger here, keep lifting through the pubic bone and then as you exhale, let's bring the hands down, stepping back into Ardha Mukha Svanasana, drawing the heels down, just for a moment let's ripple through the spine, come into plank and then exhale down through Chaturanga, inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana, exhaling, Adha Mukha Svanasana, let's hold it here. Starting to draw those kneecaps up, as you exhale draw the lower belly back in towards the spine, deep breaths. And let's inhale to lift that left leg up. Keep the toes pointing down, hip pointing down. Let's step that left foot forward, lifting the arms up, lengthening up through both sides of the waist, reaching back with the fingertips if you want to go a little bit deeper. And as you exhale, bring the hands down and let's step forward with that right foot. Inhale to lengthen out of the spine. Exhale, fold down. And let's inhale to sweep the arms back up, pressing down through the feet, and then exhaling back to Tadasana. Let's go again a little bit faster. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhaling, step that right foot back on the ball of the right foot, lengthening up with the fingertips. And again, starting to reach back if you want to go a bit deeper. Exhaling, fold down. Let's step that left foot back. Adha Mukha Svanasana. And let's just ripple straight through into plank. 
exhaling down through chaturanga keep those elbows nice and close to the body inhaling urdhva mukha exhaling adha mukha holding it here taking this opportunity to lengthen out the breathing set the gaze in between the feet or up towards the navel and on the next in breath lifting that right leg up exhaling step it forward and inhaling bring the arms up reaching back with the fingertips and then as you exhale bring the hands down step that left foot forward inhale to lengthen out of the spine exhale uttanasana and then inhaling bring the palms together above the head and then exhaling back to samasthiti let's go again starting with the left leg inhale exhaling forward inhaling lengthen out exhaling step that left leg back inhale lengthen up through the fingertips pressing out through that left heel and then exhaling bring the hands down step back into down face dog rippling through the spine let's come into high plank exhale chaturanga inhale urdhva mukha svanasana and exhaling back adha mukha svanasana three deep breaths here And on the next inhale, let's lift that left leg up and stepping it through, exhaling. And then inhale, lift the arms up, reaching back with the fingertips, lifting through the pubic bone. And as you exhale, bring the hands down, stepping that right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale down. And inhaling up. Exhale back to Tadasana. Let's get ready for Surya Namaskar B. So let's bend the knees. Inhale, scoop the arms up into Utkatasana. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring the hands back down into Uttanasana. Lifting the eyes in between the hands. And as you exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale to lengthen out exhale fold step that right leg back and inhaling lifting the arms up and then as you exhale twist around turning towards the left the left hand reaching back and then as you inhale bring it back up and as you exhale twist around again looking over towards the left thumb inhale bring it back up and then exhale one more time and then bring that left arm forward reaching back with the fingertips and on the next exhale bring the hands down let's step that left foot back Adha Mukha ripple through the spine coming into plank exhale Chaturanga inhale Urdhva Mukha and exhaling Adha Mukha holding it here three deep breaths pressing away with the hands to lift the sit bones up Let's inhale to lift that right leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Let's go into Virabhadrasana 2. Left heel comes down, opening the torso out to the side, arms at shoulder height, pressing that right knee back, looking over that right middle finger. And as you inhale, strain that right leg and then exhale, bend back down, inhaling up and then exhale, bend one more time, inhaling up and exhale down. Let's cycle the hand down and step that left foot forward. Inhale to lengthen out of the spine, exhaling down and inhale, bend the knees, scoop the arms up into Utkatasana and exhaling back to Samasthiti one more time, starting with the left, inhale, scoop the arms up, Utkatasana, exhaling, Uttanasana, inhale, gazing up, exhaling, step that left foot back, reaching the arms up, inhale, and then as you exhale, twisting around to the right, looking over towards the right thumb, reaching that arm forward, inhale, bring it back up. And then as you exhale, twist around one more time, inhale, sweep that arm up. And then exhaling, twisting it around. And let's hold it here for just a breath, inhaling. And then as you exhale, bring the hands down, stepping back into Adha Mukha, holding it here just for a breath and then rippling through the spine. 
to come into high plank. Exhaling down, Chaturanga, inhaling, Urdhva Mukha, and then exhaling, Adho Mukha, holding it here. Let's inhale that left leg up, and then exhale, step it forward, right heel comes down, opening out to Virabhadrasana 2, gazing over that left middle finger. Keep pressing that left knee back so it stays over the ankle. Keep lifting through the lower belly. Find the breath. And as you inhale, let's straighten that left leg up and then exhale, bend a little bit deeper. And again, inhaling up and then exhaling, bend one more time. Inhaling, stretch it up and then exhale, bend. Let's cycle that left hand down. Come into a lunge position to step forward. Inhale to lengthen out. And exhale, fold back down. Let's bend the knees, scoop the arms up through Utkatasana. And then exhaling back to Samasteti. Let's go again. Inhale, scoop the arms up. Exhaling down. Let's step that. Let's inhale to lengthen out. Exhale down. Stepping that right leg back, lifting the arms up. Bringing the palms in front of the chest. Let's take a twist on the left hand side. So hook that right elbow over the left thigh, looking over the left shoulder. Keep pressing out through the right heel. Stay connected to the lower belly, bringing the hands down. Let's step that left leg back into a down face dog, ripple through the spine, coming into plank. Fine plank. If you want an extra challenge here, lift that right leg off. Just keep drawing that lower belly in, just holding it here. And then exhaling down, place that foot down, inhaling, up face dog. And then exhaling, down face dog. Holding it here. Long, smooth breaths. Let's inhale to lift that right leg up. And then as you exhale, step it forward, place that left heel down. Let's open up to Virabhadrasana 2 again. Arms at shoulder height, looking over that right middle finger. And then reaching forward and then bringing it back, coming into Dancing Warrior. Place that left hand lightly on the back leg. It's opening up that right side of the body. Lifting the eyes up past the arm towards the ceiling. As you exhale, come back into Warrior 2 and let's shift into Trikonasana, straighten the leg and then reaching forward into Trikonasana, place the back of the hand on the inside of the shin, Re looking up towards the left thumb. And let's inhale to come back up. Spending the knees, cycle the hands down, step that left foot forward, inhale to lengthen out of the spine, exhaling down and bend the knees, inhaling through Utkatasana and exhaling back to Samasthiti. One more time, inhaling, scooping the arms up, looking in between the hands, exhaling, fold down, looking towards the tip of the nose. Inhale, looking in between the eyebrows, exhaling and let's step that left leg back bringing the arms up into a high lunge, bring the palms in front of the chest, and then let's twist around, hook that left elbow over the thigh, palms together, looking over the uh, right shoulder, pressing out through that left heel. Paribhrita Pashpokanasana, variation. Let's bring the hands down, stepping back into down face dog. Ripple through the spine, coming into plank. Holding it here, let's lift that left leg off. Really lift through that lower belly. Keep the breath smooth and long as much as you can. If you want to keep working strongly, keep the leg off as you lower down into Chaturanga. Place the foot down and then inhaling into up face dog. And let's press it back into down dog. Smoothing out the breathing. 
He's pressing the backs of the thighs towards the back of the room. And let's inhale to lift that left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Place that right heel down. Let's open up to Vira Bhadrasana 2 again. Looking over that left middle finger. Lifting the pubic bone up here. Let's reach forward and then bring that left arm back. Coming into Dancing Warrior. Keep bending into that left leg. Really opening up the left side of the body there. Reaching back with the left fingertips. And then as you exhale, bring it down. Let's straighten that left leg and reaching forward with the left hand, coming down into Trikonasana on the left hand side. Placing the back of the hand onto the inside of the shin, looking up towards the right thumb. And on the next in breath, let's come back up to standing. Bend that left leg, cycle the hands down. Let's step that right foot forward. Inhale to lengthen out and exhaling fold down, bend the knees, let's inhale to scoop the arms through Utkatasana, straightening the legs, come back to Samasthiti. Bring the hands to the waist, let's separate the feet hip weight width apart, inhaling and then exhaling, fold forward, take hold of the big toes, take another in breath to lengthen out of the spine and then as you exhale bend the elbows outwards, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Gazing towards the tip of the nose or in between the legs, whatever is most comfortable. Make sure that you keep the knees bent if you need to here. Padangushtasana. Let's take another inhale to lengthen out. Bring the hands down, separate the feet hip width apart, a bit wider than hip width apart. Point the feet outwards, sinking the hips down into a malasana variation. Palms together in front of the chest, gazing down towards the fingers. Wonderful posture to open up the hips. And let's bring the hands down and behind you to help you sit down. Lengthen the legs out in front of you, flexing the feet, coming into Dandasana just for a moment. And then reaching forward, taking hold of the feet or the ankles. Inhale to lengthen out. Exhaling, let's fold forward. Crown of the head reaching towards the feet. Feel free to get a blanket to be in this posture if you need to, or bend the knees slightly. And let's inhale to release, looking up, exhale the hands down. Let's curve down the back to come straight down all the way down and let's come into Shavasana separate the feet, let the feet fall out palms at a comfortable distance away from the body closing the eyes and as you exhale just allow the body to relax into the mat just staying here for at least five minutes if you can just feeling the effects of the practice.